Hi, my name is Danielle Dockery. The last time I spoke to you, I was speaking about the photo stress process. And we started to discuss analysis that were in the dynamic range, specifically rotating components or reciprocating components. In this particular demo, I'm going to show you what it looks like to take the photo stress system and apply a stroboscopic light source to it and allow us to see the full field behavior of stresses that are happening on a fan blade. Here we've made a simple fan blade and on the ends of the blades we've actually added weights and those weights will help to increase the amount of strain that we're able to put on the blades themselves. And we're simply going to start the fan up and have a rotational aspect of it so that we can get those blades moving and the forces due to the weight increasing with time. As we continue to rotate, we're going to try to create some synchronization with the rotational speed of the blade itself. And we're going to do that by using the stroboscopic light source, which is currently attached to the instrument behind you. So first, I'm going to simply turn the fan on to a high position. As you can see now, the fan is starting to rotate. Visually, we cannot see the fan at this point because it's moving faster than our eyes can actually pick up. The frame rate is just too quick. But by using the stroboscopic light source that is attached to the photo stress system, we will be able to slow this fan blade down to the point where we can visually see all the stresses that are happening on the part. To do so, I'm simply going to turn on the stroboscopic light source and I'm going to use this device here to capture the rotational speed in RPMs. Currently we're showing about 3200 RPMs. With a few adjustments, I should be able to get it to slow down and almost look like a static analysis. So simple adjustments to the rotational speed will allow us to do so. If I go too fast, obviously the fan blade will speed up and I won't be able to make that visual observation as easily as I'd like. But once I found the true rotational speed, the fan blade will approach a sense of a static condition. It will basically look like it is not moving, although we know it really is. And at that point, just like any other analysis that we might want to do with photo stress, we simply look through our optical lens assembly Using our optical transducer called a compensator, we can quantify all the values of stress that we see visible here.